and welcome to this week's YouTube video. This week I'm going to talk about what to do when your painting goes wrong. This is a bit of a follow-on video from last week where I talked about the five essentials for successful painting. I just want to clarify the context that I am speaking about. I'm talking about painting that goes wrong where you are working from a reference photo or from life but it has to be there in front of you in some way. I'm not talking about paintings where you may have composed these from your imagination. This is a different video. So last week then I spoke about the five essentials for a successful painting. To recap briefly these were drawing, value, edges, colour and temperature. It's a good idea to watch that video first before this one as I am not going to go into these in any great detail. I want to talk about why it is important that you understand these principles and how understanding these principles will help you when your paintings go wrong because your paintings will go wrong. It is very rare I do a painting where I have no issues at all but understanding the five essentials will cut out your painting failure rate. It will act as a checklist to help you when the painting goes wrong or perhaps just isn't working for you. So when I hit this point in a painting where it's just not working for me or it's starting to go wrong, I go through this checklist in my head. So I ask myself, is it the drawing? Is this out? If you watch my video, draw more accurately from a reference photo, you'll see I give you a tip for checking your painting's drawing during the painting process. This tip can also work if you're working from life, as you are able to photograph what you are painting and check it from that. So if my drawing is okay, I then move on to my values. And I ask myself, are my values out? I have to say that in about 85% of cases, it is usually my values that are out. And in last week's video, I gave you a tip on how to check your values using your camera phone. So if it's not my values, I then move on to my edges and I ask myself, are my edges out? Do I have some hard edges where soft edges would be more appropriate? Could I do with loosening some of my edges? If it's not my edges, then I move on to look at my colour. So, is my colour out? Are my colours too saturated? Have my colours gone chalky? That is, I've used too much white paint in my mixing process. Have my colours gone muddy by overmixing colours together? If that is all okay, I then ask myself if my object looks solid and believable. Does it look like it is occupying that space? If it doesn't, then it will be my temperatures that are out. For example, I have too many warm temperatures together or too many cool temperatures together. You may find also, as you work your way down the five essentials checklist, that it is not just one thing that is out. It may be, for example, that your temperatures and your values are both out. So be careful when you correct one thing, you don't accidentally overcorrect and go too far with it. Work on correcting one thing at a time. Stop, stand back and see how it looks. Then have a go at correcting the next thing. Don't forget to keep viewing your painting in terms of the whole picture rather than just the area that you are working on and trying to fix. Constantly standing back will help you do this. So by understanding these five essential principles and using them as a mental checklist to work through when your painting is going wrong, it will help you cut down your failure rate and help you fix your artwork. It will always be one of those five things that are out. A final little tip that may help is remember to scrape back the area that is wrong if it is out by quite a bit 
as trying to correct paint on top of paint can lead to muddying up your paintings. I hope you have found this week's YouTube video useful. Please like and subscribe if you can and check out my website sarahhallidayart.com where you will find examples of my work and details of online classes that I run. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.